Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Upstack Success Stories. Really happy because today I'm bringing to you our other UI UX designer, Juan Pablo Martinez Gonzalez, and he's tuning here with us from Colombia. Welcome, Juan. Really happy to have you here Thank with you, us. Thank you, Diana. Happy to be here. So would you mind starting just telling a little bit about yourself and how you actually started working as a designer? Yeah, of course. Well, I'm from Cali, Colombia. That's a southern, southern uh, lovely city uh, here in my country. Uh, I came to Bogota, to the capital city, when I was 14 years old, and I studied uh, communications design initially. I've been in this business over 12 years now, and I've had the pleasure to work with awesome clients all over the world, uh, ranging from uh, health tech, fintechs, uh, healthcare, and amongst, among other industries. So yeah, and I came to work as a UI and a UX designer six years, seven years ago. Uh, that I had the chance to create my fir very first platform for a client here in, in Colombia for the energy industry. So that kickstarted my passion, which until today has been like very fulfilling and uh, chock full of uh, new experiences and mementos and new uh, connections with people that I adore and appreciate. Wow. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. Really sounds like lots of interesting experience and variations. Yeah. Um, so did you always actually work remotely or how is that aspect of work coming to you? Well, uh, the, the pandemic certainly did introduce a, par a, paradigm, a paradigm shift in my way of work. Before the pandemic, I had a, a uh, in-person office uh, schedule where I had to go every day from eight to five. And it was not that, but I, by any means, because I, uh, travel has in some way always been in my life. Uh, fortunately, I can, I consider myself lucky enough to say that. But uh, the pandemic changed everything here in Colombia, at least where, where we had very strict lockdowns. Many businesses broke. Uh, unfortunately, many families were affected by, by COVID here in Colombia, which, as many of you know, uh, it's a third world country and economy. So we didn't stand the chances as well as first world countries in Europe or Asia Pacific. So uh, I got booted from my job <laughs> before, uh, on the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And I started working uh, by recommendation of a friend who already did uh, remote work on freelance uh, platforms. So I started uh, very slowly, it was a lot of patience at first, uh, a lot of uncertainty as well, because I didn't know anything about this remote uh, work uh, world. And uh, time passed. It has been now, what, three, four years into the pandemic? And I, right now I'm at uh, an app stack. And, well, let me tell you that I wouldn't go back to a before COVID uh, paradigm shift uh, uh, as a way of work, you know, because I, now I can travel all the time. I have very flexible uh, schedules. There's a lot of responsibility, yes, but there is also trust that I, as a senior software engineer and UI and UX designer, will meet the deadlines that my client and I have agreed upon. So, yeah. Mm. Wow, wow. What was the few or one biggest challenges than you started remote work. I mean, we all encounter those ones. So I just wonder how did that go to you personally? And I have to be pretty honest about this. Uh, there was no challenge whatsoever, at least in my case, because uh, when you when you get affiliated to a, 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 a company, Yes, you have to fill forms and you have to go to HR and get the induction and, and it's all very uh, bureaucratic. Yes, in this case, no. In, the, in this case, you just log in, you do the, uh, you apply, you apply to, to a process to get into AppStack or whatever uh, platform you're working on. And, and from there on, your only responsibility is to have good work uh, tools, and a very good internet con connection. So besides that, you mm -hmm. are free to make of, what, of your day and your life whatever you want to. Always knowing that you mm -hmm. have a responsibility, that you have to live up to the title you have in that community, 
yes and the, and that you are affecting a lot of people with your job because uh, one of the greatest things about appstat is that we for example in, in my particular case uh, the first client that i got is a very cool startup from uh, the united states that is affecting millions of people with their uh, algorithms so uh, yeah that kind of responsibility weighs heavy uh, in a positive way i might add uh, in the way you compartmentalize your time uh, when you're doing remote uh, work Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's that's really a good point, actually, to mention. Thank you for sharing this, Johan. Uh, you already actually mentioned so many beautiful benefits. Are there any more that you particularly like than you work remotely? We all have our favorites. Well, actually, I love meeting people from all over the world. Uh, I mm -hmm. like to practice, practice my English. That's something that I have only been able to do when I arrived to Abstack. Uh, because, for example, you are from uh, Europe, Bogdan, my project manager, is from Europe as well. My client is from the United States. Uh, my direct uh, partner in the project, which is uh, Vivian Khan, a brilliant UX designer with, uh, with which I've had the pleasure of working with. Uh, she's from Brazil. So I've learned from different cultures very slowly, uh, gradually, but uh, we're getting there in making meaningful connections and practicing my English has been always paramount for me uh, because uh, I'm very proud of my education and my academic uh, formation. Yeah, uh, so uh, one that that is one of the, the perks of having this kind of job. The other one would be, uh, I must say, the flexibility to have an income uh, wherever you are in the world. Uh, when you are affiliated to a company, to a corporate structure, you only get paid in the country in which we, you live. In a globalized world where all where fintechs and financial institutions are transforming themselves to be more globalized, it's no longer efficient for us as freelancers to be paid only in our local currency, in our countries. We, we should always have the possibility to be paid wherever we are in, o in order to always accommodate to, the, to our life project. For example, if I want to be living here in Colombia for the next couple of years, cool. But if I want to move to North America, Europe, where, wherever they have a digital nomad visa, which is now the, 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 the rad, by the way, uh, uh, mm -hmm. I can do so with no, with no hiccups. That wasn't able before. Uh, that wasn't possible before. It now it is. Yeah, yeah, so true. The world is changing, and it's just beautiful to have options if we want to versus overthinking it. Yeah. Thank you, Yuan, for that mentioning too. Uh, how's the your typical day looking? I wonder. I mean, I talked with many developers and designers, and they all have different variations. Are you more like an early riser and let's stayer, or how does that? Go for you. Uh, I have on words of my own family and work colleagues and clients, I have a freakly, freakishly early get up time. I wake up at 4.30 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, because <laughs> one of the other perks that I like about this job is that I have the chance to take care of myself. When you're doing a, a strict uh, schedule type of job in person in a company, you are not able to go to the gym. You are not able to go to do grocery shopping, for example. I do all of those mm -hmm. stuff without it interfering with my job. So I do wake up at 4.30 in the morning. I go to the gym at 5. I finish training by 7 and I have an early breakfast. I, I like to cook, for example, so I love that as well. That I don't have to go to a restaurant every, every time I want to eat something. Uh, mm -hmm. And I start working. So, yeah, it's like having that freedom. That, those, those may sound for many people like little things, but it's those things that make a difference in your day to day. Oh my gosh, I still can't agree. I mean, we are so familiar in this. I actually wake up five or six o'clock too, and everyone freaks out about it. And I'm just like you, I need my time. Yeah. It just pumps me up for work. Exactly, touche, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so true, so true. 
On the other side, you worked, you know, in this industry for a while and had your share of lots of experiences. Is there something like really particularly like, I don't know, something big that was like this kick-ass moment for you that you're really proud of yourself that happened or any big learning experience that you had? Uh, that Yes. You want to share? <laughs> so sorry. That's my mother on the background. <laughs> We can, we can, we can. No, 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 please, please. That's part of, of, the, of this way of work. Please, I don't want it to change a thing. Uh, yeah, actually, that milestone happened very recently. Well, just to be clear about something and to be really honest, I've had a lot of uh, nice milestones along my career. Little my milestones that, that have been adding to this moment uh, in Upstack. And it just came recently where my client told us that we had gone from a conversion rate of 2.8% to 32% in the North American market. And the, uh, the company was going to be featured on Wall Street Journal and Forbes. That for me was a highlight of my career because that means that first, my partner and I in the design team, we are doing a good job. Yes, and that's the mm -hmm. highest form of praise. Not when you receive a, hey, you did good, or hey, uh, you did an, uh, it looks pretty. Your platform looks pretty or functional. No, it comes when you get that kind of recognition, be it directly or indirectly, because in the end, it's the company, it's the client's company, but it also talks to the kind of job that we're doing. Yes, we're, do we're changing mm -hmm. paradigms, we're changing culture and mindsets, and that is cool. We're helping to do that, and that's pretty awesome. Lovely. Congratulations. I mean, it's, it's just so fascinating, you know, seeing these results. So congrats definitely for you and your partner. On Thank that you. Side. Thank you. Are there, though, any particular tips that you would like to share with either designers who want to start, but with, they don't know how to start working remotely, or maybe just general designers who want to start remote work and never have tried it before? Don't be afraid. It's uh, a little bit daunting at first. I know I, I was scared, very, very afraid at first because uh, one, uh, the corporate mindset will always tell you that there's no stability in doing remote work or freelance job. That's false. That's, I've been uh, already in remote work for four years approximately and I say that I must say that I've had a, a financial stability all the time, that it only takes you to love your job and to be passionate about it. Time. Yes. To really get into a project that you feel that you will make a change on. That would be a first. Secondly, have a good computer and internet connection net, because that's the, really, that's the only requirement for this to work. That's your bread and butter for every day. And let's keep in mind that designers, uh, platforms that we use, for example, the Adobe Creative Suite, Figma, uh, for those who do 3D renders for to translate to the Lottie files in websites or applications, those are GPU intensive uh, applications. So having a good computer is a must, uh, I, I'd say, uh, be it your own, your mothers, your your brothers, your best friends, in the, um, before even if you are financially uh, limited in some way to get your own very good tool, try to uh, be resourceful uh, and 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 you'll get there. You'll get to having that, those two things. Internet connection nowadays. I was I was telling you the other day, Diana. Not in Colombia. Colombia, we still have 4G, so we are very much still limited mm. to go to Starbucks to work. But in North America, Europe, Asia Pacific, we already have the benefit of using 5G connection, which allows us to really take the remote work uh, theme to another level. You can be, I don't know, in the Rocky mm. Canyon in in the United States, uh, enjoying the view, sipping a piña colada and being connected on our interview with this lovely woman. <laughs> uh, true, true. Like, good point. You know, uh, I talked with Sandra Barras, uh, our QA uh, manual engineer, like last time too. And she exactly mentioned that, that we have so many opportunities with the internet, though there are still some places that, you know, 
have some issues, but once you ask, you can always achieve it. You can always get it. You just need to want it and like everything is possible yes, out there. The desire and the hunger to really do a difference. And that's what this kind of job offers that corporate mindsets and jobs will never offer. Oh my, I so agree. I so agree. Oh, this is lots of amazing tips, Juan Pablo. Is there anything else specific you want to share about your job? Any tips or anything pops in your mind at this moment? Mm, I'm a purist for design thinking. I love it. I think that's the the holy grail of design, of user-centered design. Mm. Remember always to defend your ideas structurally uh, in a structured manner, applying design thinking. Uh, always count on your on your partners in a, in the design team. You are not a one man army. It's always good to have a team and work collaboratively because you nobody not even, not me not not you not nobody has great ideas on the, on their own. It's all a teamwork. It's all teamwork. So I want to really stress that 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 is very important. Be a considerate of everyone's differences. Everyone, every culture is different. Every way of communicating is different. Don't take nothing personally ever. Uh, everything is uh, uh, oriented to get the best job done and for you to have a great time and to make a lot of good friends in time, meaningful friends that will last uh, hopefully uh, your, uh, during your lifetime so yeah that that the end i don't want to extend overextend myself lots of bombs like lots of bombs i love it i love it i mean and that's so true i mean these these tips these recommendations are so important so thank you for sharing you on this has been a big pleasure i know people will benefit from this it has been great having you here together with us thank you diana i've had a great time uh, speaking with you and hopefully people will find this interesting yeah Thank you everyone for watching. See you next time. Bye.